Roxanne. Yes, MJ. Would, would you like to sound more confident? Uh, no. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I'm good. I think she Thanks. sounds pretty confident. Oh, and, uh, listen, mm-hmm. this is just rhetorical. I'm, I'm I, not, I realize that. This is rhetorical. This is not anything that I'm I'm zeroing in on you for. This is something we all do. Would you like to sound more confident? Well, uh, experts are saying you need to ditch these phrases. If you use these verbal, I guess, crutches, if you use these words... Get rid of them because they can make you seem insecure. Some are making people seem arrogant. But if you want to sound more confident, these phrases you ought to just exercise, like, you know, the exorcist, not exercise like get on the Peloton or something. Wait, some, yeah. some you said make you sound arrogant. So we're eliminating like the outliers of insecure comments and arrogant comments so you can just be confident. Is that what you're trying? Is that what you're saying? The headline is, if you want to sound more confident, ditch these 10 phrases that make you look insecure and arrogant according to word experts. Okay. All right? You ready for the first one? Yes. Get rid of this. I don't mean to brag, but... I don't ever say that. I just brag without the qualifier. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't need to tell you I'm going to brag. All right, what's the last thing you bragged about? Who I interviewed. I mean, it's not really a brag <laughs> thing, but that but you guys act like it's a bragging thing. It's just, well, you know. I mean, we're only calling the pot. Never mind. <laughs> so remove that phrase. I don't mean to brag, but I don't uh, need to brag. Take right. that out of your repertoire. All right, number two. That's kind of schmucky to say, though. A lot of context. MJ says it. I already knew that. Don't use that in communication. If you're talking to somebody and they say something, don't say, I already knew that. I always act like it's new information. Or or the other one is, a variation of that is, or doesn't everyone know that? I'd be like, the Titanic sank? What? I already knew that. (laughs) (laughs) What, What if you say something like, yeah, I read that. Is that the same as... Say like should should you just like Froggy think, does just play dumb? I think it's just New a variation. Nope, I think it's a variation. I think that that would be the same thing. I already knew that, or doesn't everyone know that? Or you know, I read that. I would think that it's pretty similar. So far, both of these things sound like they're pretty confident. I yeah. already knew that. <laughs> number three. I don't mean to brag, but <laughs> number three is I'm pretty sure that that's kind of like gaslighting a bit, or it's uh, you know it's like it's um. What it's is the word? Passive aggressive. Yeah, that, like, you know, yeah. What's actually, what's you know? I'm pretty sure that I think uh, passive aggressive is probably without good. You know, saying somebody's wrong, you yeah. drop the. I'm pretty sure that's not the case. Yeah, that's a nicer way of saying no. You're dead wrong. I I say I'm pretty sure when I'm a hundred percent sure, and I know the person is dead wrong. And I'm pretty sure is a nice way to say you're wrong. Oh my god, she does. She does it to us all the time. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty you know sure. what? You say that to us a lot. She I does. Do. I do. You know what? That is one of your crutches right okay, there. Well, let me change that phrase to, "You're bleeping wrong." She's <laughs> she's playing us like a polite fiddle. Number four. <laughs> Eliminate this. No offense, but I think I use all these. Yeah, that's and I feel you. Fine. Yeah. That's you, Pastor. Right, no offense, but y'all yeah. are a bunch of schmucks. No <laughs> offense, but whenever there's a but, it's usually this yeah. immediately sets up an adversarial conversation. You're overtly indicating that you're about to say something that could and probably will offend somebody. So, no offense, but take that one out. Next. Overusing I or me. See, this always bothered me. You know, there seemed to be a phase back in like the late 80s, early 90s, where everyone was trying to point out, oh, uh, I, 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 or you wrote something and it's all I, this, I, that. Well, there are not ways to sometimes say something if you're talking about yourself in first person and something you did. What are you supposed to just drop all the eyes? Yeah, and if you say we, then people start to think you have multiple personalities. She Sounds knows weird. that firsthand. Yes. So stop overusing I or me. When people hear a lot of I's and me's, there's a strong chance they might think of you as self-centered or narcissistic. Research shows that people feel more positive about other people who use incle- inclusive words like we and our team. If you did something yourself, there's right? not a we or an our team. 
Well, our team got out of bed this morning at about 4.30 this morning. It's a quick shower. And our, 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 our whole team was in the shower. Uh, yes. No, but there was this time, I'm telling you, it got really sensitive in the late 80s, early 90s, mid 90s, where everyone was focusing in on I, 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 too many eyes. I, I, and it was driving me nuts. It was like on resumes or something. You know, you don't want to refer to yourself yeah. as I too many times. And uh, What else was? Oh, uh, oh, I'm just kidding. If you say something that maybe somebody is offended by or you say something and certainly uh, suddenly there's like a recoil and then you kind of hit them with, oh, I was jo- I'm just joking. Is that the same as no offense? No, I think that no offense is, is there. No offense, but is different than, oh, I'm just joking. This yeah, is no, a no offense is a warning. I'm just joking is backtracking. This is a passive aggressive way of indicating that you think you know better. When you follow up a comment or criticism with a just kidding in an attempt to take the sting out of it, you're not fooling anyone. You're just insulting the other person. Yeah, I never say that. All right, the next item, number seven. This is a CNBC story, by the way. Uh, the next one, number seven. You probably don't know this, but ooh. Well, I've yeah. heard MJ say that one, too. <laughs> I know I don't. <laughs> All right. When you're talking about fancy stick houses, you that probably is, don't know this one. That is not true. I think I love every one of these phrases with the exception of the just kidding one. That one's not that bad. No. Just. You probably don't know this, but. Oh, and what makes you so great for you to know it? The dude? phrase is practically guaranteed to irritate the listener. Again, you're being dismissive of the other person's knowledge or capabilities. If you want to share information, share it without obnoxious disclaimers. Well, because it's the same thing as you're probably a big dumb dumb, but. <laughs> All right, number eight. I'm surprised you're having problems with this. It's so easy. Who, who did, I want to punch whoever says that. I, who would say that? Uh, I'm surprised you're having problems with this. It's so easy. Actually, I'm surprised you're having problems with this. I think that's <laughs> so easy. I think that's just self-explanatory. I don't think I need to read a description. Number nine. Billy down the hall had a stroke last week, and he does it just fine. Oh, my gosh. See? That's how it goes. That's how it escalates. Number nine. You just don't get it. Well, if you're in an argument with somebody, you're going to say that. I don't have an issue with using that. In the appropriate place and time, there are times where you need to tell somebody you just don't get it. And these are things to take out if you want to sound more confident. These are all pretty aggressive. How about that bit sucks? I've heard MJ say that one. (laughs) You just don't get it, Froggy. All right, the last one, number 10. Uh If I were you, I'd then ellipses. I I will say, uh, if I'm talking to someone, I'll say that. Well, if I was in that position, I don't say if I were you. That's still uppity. So, If I were you, so Festa, you use all these? Is that yeah, it? Yeah, the only time I ever use the if I were you is when I followed up with something horrific. Like, Fester's the most blunt, disgusting person I've ever <laughs> seen. He doesn't use any of these things. He'll just tell you your face you're disgusting. If I were you, I would start smoking right now and hope for lung cancer. <laughs> uh, you know, I, mean, I really, I, I dig in with uh, that if I were you. And uh, then he's like, I don't lie, do I? I'm not a liar. Hey, listen, I'll tell I? you right now, you, call me when I, you, call, you guys can call me out on all my lies because I don't lie. <laughs> 